What to Play presents the top 25 free offline Android games. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. Number 25 is Simulacra Pipe Dreams. For the uninitiated, this is a spin-off of Kagan Games' Simulacra game on Steam, which also tells the horrific story set entirely on a found phone. In Pipe Dreams comes a new character, Teddy, as he deals with traumatizing events that follows his addiction to a seemingly innocent phone app. It's another awesome free game from the Kagan Studios. It has a provisional play score of 9.40. Number 24 is Chasecraft, a combination of many of our favorite games. Chasercraft is a runner set in a voxel universe. Taking after Minecraft's aesthetic, building is an essential part of its programming. When the resources are short, make sure you have enough resources for the next build as you run around mines in endless runner fashion. So run around, get coins, and build yourself your very own home. It has a provisional play score of 9.40. Number 23 is Piffle. From the makers of Crossy Road comes a colorful arcade puzzler that's oozing with childish charm. A game that kind of lives up to its title. Piffle is a whole load of adorable nonsense as you dive into their sea of adorable cat-like creatures and break around blocks with trajectorial precision. Defeat the evil dock block once and for all with a provisional play score of 9.40. 22nd is Armelio. First release on consoles, you can be sure that this game's got a fair amount of quality. League of Geeks presents you with a fantasy world that brings the board game experience to the digital form. Watch the board game come alive and engage in the strategics of their turn-based battles and sandbox universe. It's a board game masterpiece in style and substance with a rating of a 9.40. 21st is Avicii Gravity HD. Released a few months before his untimely death, Avicii wrapped us up in its handcrafted neon atmosphere. Packed with hypnotic visuals and his tantric melodies, it balances sound and sights into one immersive experience. Fly across the kaleidoscope skies and move to the beat of Avicii's greatest hits. Whether you're a fan or not, it's an awesome title either way with a score of 9.40. 20th is Vampire Fall Origins. For anyone that misses good old Diablo, Vampire's Fall is the perfect alternative for your smartphones. Instead of real-time hack and slashing, it makes use of a modernized turn-based combat system. Create your own customizable character and roam around its dark yet rich open world. It's a free-to-play game until a certain point though, so you might have to pay for the full experience. It has a provisional play score of 9.40. 19 is Mazum Jekyll and Hyde. It's a reimagining of the 19th century literary classic. Mazum takes up Don't Starve Light's expressionism to tell the mysterious case of a murderer seemingly connected to the town's beloved Dr. Jekyll. Centered around one story, the game is fully playable without ads, but its in app purchases open you up to a richer London experience with spooky stories and artworks. It has a provisional play score of 9.40. 18 is Idle Apocalypse. Adding to their already extensive list of idle clickers, Iron Horse Games gives us this handy apocalypse simulator. When the world is ending, who needs heroes? Tap your way to each and every world ending scenario and watch awakened ancients and gross monsters eat it up in over 40 unique floors. It's topping it all off with their detailed pixel graphics. It's a provisional rating of 9.40. 17 is Criminal Case Mysteries of the Past. And speaking of fast fingers, you also need a pair of fine eyes for another installment of Pretty Simple's Hidden Object Adventure. Set in the 19th century, familiarize yourself with the various objects of the past as you investigate the intriguing cases of their times. Much like their other criminal case titles, it's jam-packed with grime-solving activities that will last you endless hours of enjoyment. It has a provisional play score of 9.40. 16 is Friday the 13th Killer Puzzle. A follow-up to their trope-heavy puzzler Slay Away Camp, Blue Wizard comes in with this daring tribute to one of the most iconic slasher film series of all time, dedicating all their gory puzzling to the dreaded Friday the 13th. It puts mass murderer Jason Voorhees at the center as he slices and dices, all according to his mom's wishes. Maneuver through its grid-based stages once more with a provisional play score of 9.40. Number 15 is Bee Factory, a simulation game from Green Panda that lets you become the Queen Bee, 
and eventually the leader of a multi-million empire. Every journey begins with a single beehive, so learn the basics of the common apiary and run through the honeycombs with over 100 bee variations. So click upgrade and sell sell sell. It has a provisional play score of 9.40. Number 14 is Hooked Ink Fisher Tycoon. From one glitcher to the next, Fisher Tycoon will let you get hooked on the many joys of fishing. Head out for the waters and build your way to a certified fishing mega corporation. Build your hardy crew of sailors and fishermen and leave no coral unturned for the rarest fish types in the seven seas. It is indeed a game that captures the zen of real life fishing with a score of 9.40. Number 13 is Toy Crush Smash Cubes Pop. Time to get back to the basics in this colorful match 3 puzzle game. It's a variant of the Candy Crush gameplay as you use your wits and luck to clear the board of every candy colored tile. With over 900 levels and no live system whatsoever, you can match 3 to your heart's content. It's a casual, no frills, free to play title with a provisional play score of 9.46. Number 12 is Drift City Hottest Racing Game. A 3D game from Mad Fun shows off their 16 classic cars and their various challenging tracks. With some annoying ads popping up after every clicks, it's not exactly the best gaming experience. But for all its bare bones quality, it's a serviceable racer for the price point with a provisional play score of 9.48. 11 is a thief's journey. Indian Studios VR Playing Games' first ever work is a simple puzzler which places you in a world where you steal prizes in a room filled with guards, searchlights, spikes, lasers, and any other traps. Enjoy its over 40 fun-packed levels and be a master thief as you tiptoe your way around its heightened security. It has a provisional play score of 9.53. Number 10 is Word You. There's always that vocabulary mobile game that we're addicted to. Word You is a fun and new way to the word puzzler. Test your dictionary knowledge by building as many words as you can from the pool of letters. Its simple swipe controls is enough for a casual time-wasting experience. It could also be used as the perfect excuse to use your phone on a party. It has a provisional play score of 9.57. Number 9 is Tiny Bubbles. Pine Street Codeworks' puzzle game takes you into a magical, soapy world. A winner of over a dozen gaming awards, at least that's what they told us. Use your fingers to inflate, mix, match, and pop and win hundreds of levels. The game uses real-life bubble physics, so every little touch counts. It receives a provisional play score of 9.60. Number 8 is Birdie Trip. The sky's the limit in this adorable avian arcade adventure from Bloop Games. Grab your friends and avoid the many dangers that could smash you in your journey. With its responsive one-touch controls, enjoy its addictive gameplay with colorful graphics and bird collecting. It has a provisional play score of 9.60. Number 7 is Nindash Skull Valley. Every once in a while, a mobile game about ninjas come out, and this one's it. From Ankama Games, this action arcade adventure takes you through the life of a ninja as he defeats a horde of skeletons in 90 levels. With its simple yet intuitive gameplay, tap, slide, and dash to overcome the skeletal threat and defeat the bosses. It receives a provisional play score of 9.60. Number 6 is Deary Evil X Meta Horror Pixel Platformer, an unlikely horror game for the Android with a very long name. This terrifying thriller tells a gripping story of a silent hero as he survives from a growing darkness and its gorgeous pixel art world. The retro platforming elements encourage players to solve puzzles and use their years of platformer experience to make it out alive. It has a provisional play score of 9.60. Number 5 is Super Starfish. The swirling cosmos await you in Protostar's action puzzle game. As an interstellar starfish, create more life to your space aquarium by dodging cosmic dangers such as meteors, black holes, and quasars. Its mesmerizing visuals offer a fantastic experience to players who just want to relax and admire the beauty in each pulsating light. It has a provisional play score of 9.60. Number 4 is Sailor Cats. For the cat lovers out there, go on a relaxing and adorable adventure as you collect hundreds of cute felines. As a lone fisher cat, become a pirate and sail to the seven seas. Recruit furry friends and search for mysterious treasures and discover new worlds. It has a provisional play score of 9.60. Number 3 is Gacha Life. 
Gacha is indeed life! For the hardcore fans, of course. Start your new journey in this capsule toy game where you unlock new items and customize your favorite waifus. Choose from over hundreds of dresses, shirts, hairstyles, weapons, and more by earning more capsules. With R and Jesus at your side, enjoy its numerous modes to choose from with every adventure different. It has a provisional play score of 9.60. Second is Slide Black White. Attic Game Studios' puzzle game tests your reflexes and good concentration. With these dropping white and black balls, slide them either to the left or to the right tank. Increase your score by sorting out the correct colors and get more lives. Utilize useful special items to gain advantage of the situation. It has a provisional play score of a 9.61. Number 1 is Cube Escape Paradox, the 10th in the long-running Cube Escape series. Follow the story of a detective trapped between two worlds and escape from this mind-bending fiasco. It's a mix of puzzle and psychological horror. So keep yourself in touch with reality in this stunning new entry from Rusty Lake. It receives a provisional play score of 9.80. Hey guys, if you love this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified what to player. So that's it, and uh, goodbye.